Hi everybody, this is B, and today I'm doing a food review or a taste test of the Haichu and strawberry flavor. Um, I've heard, well, I've heard good things about this. Um, I even looked it up to see what it was, because I even seen commercials for it. Um, what it is, is basically a Japanese version of a Starburst, and it's not supposed to be as sweet, but juicy. And so, we'll open it here. It will say open, which I didn't see it till now before I start filming the video. So, not how you open your package, but I'm using one hand. So, and it says it comes with 10 pieces and it has numerous flavors, but mine is strawberry because it's a gas station. It comes like this. And when I see packaging like this, I think of, uh, what was that, that gum? Hubba Bubba? Hubba Bubba? Hubba Bubba, um, there's 10 of them, but here's the packages, and just individually, when you're, oh, well, B got skills-ish, yep, and then, ooh, see that, cut rinds, we have a Hubba Bubba, but in smaller version, take a taste test here. Actually, really good. Um, try not to tell my mouthful, but who cares? But uh, yeah, they're a bit chewy. But the good thing is, I don't like Starburst because I don't know how many have this problem with Starburst, but they tend to stick to my teeth. And apparently, there's some people who have the same problem, but they don't stick to your teeth, which is good. Because when I stick my teeth, it goes like where my teeth means my gums. And for some people, it's super painful and annoying. Sometimes it's both for me. Sometimes it's just annoying. So, I mean, it's not as sweet as Starburst, don't get me wrong. But it's good. It's actually juicy. And if you can't understand, I'm like, I'm saying I'm sorry, but... There, I finished two and swallowed. But, uh, it's very, very good. It's very juicy. Um, it has a little strawberryness to it, but it's not too bad. Um, it's actually, uh, uh, that's what I'm looking for. It's actually toned down with the sweetness. Like, you, you'll get more juicy and chewy texture, but it's not as sweet as Starburst, and it's not as tarty either, because sometimes you get the flavor with the Starburst tartiness, this is not tarty. It's like a light flavor. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's the best way to describe it. I mean, it's chewy. Looks like a hubba bum gum. Um, apparently, there's more than three flavors, I think. Um, apparently, pe uh, people say you can get the variety pack at Walmart. I went to Walmart, so I don't know. I got this at a local gas station near work, so... I mean, I've seen the advertisements, the commercials will say, Oh, hi Chu, hi Chu, get your hi Chu, the best Japanese candy. I mean, it didn't say anything like what it's like. I just did a little research before I ate it. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's very juicy content. And it says that, um, and I looked it as well, but hi Chu uses like fruit juice or whatever, like actual fruit juice. They're not fully artificial flavor like fake flavoring it's actual flavoring and it says that it is made in japan well it's under license in japan which is a japanese product by the way and it's made into a wand and distributed in america it has a california so it's the cal the disparate the distribution center is in california while it's owned by a japanese company and it's made in taiwan so there you go. Um, they actually have a site too. It's hi-chew.com. Or you can have, use the hashtag hi-chew. Um, it actually has the best before date. And mine is 4-10-2018. So I'm good with that. Um, 
And then nutri <laughs> nutrition facts, just in case you guys are curious. Um, one serving size, which is a pack with 10 pieces. Um, it says 210 calories. I mean, that's what I'm going by. Um, sugar is 31 grams. I mean, it's candy, of course. It's not going to be like, oh, low sugar, but, um, it's not too bad for, I mean, it don't taste sugary, though, so it must be just the juice that they use, because it's, don't, it don't, it don't taste sweet. Like, it don't taste really sweet like a Starburst. Let's put it that way. And it's very, very chewy, and I like how it's individually wrapped, so you don't have to worry about it. And it's kind of like a share in candy. It's one of those candies like you share, like Starburst, but um, not everyone likes to share Starburst. So, I mean, it's chewy, but it's more chewier than Starburst. If people like Starburst and if they hate Starburst, they would know Starburst is chewy. But it's not as sweet. I mean, there's a little sweetness to it, but it's more juicy. And I like that. I mean, I love candy. I love how sweet. But this one, I like how it's not sweet. It's just one of those weird things where, like, it's not sweet, but you still like it. Because the, the texture and the taste. I mean, I don't like to chew as much, like, you know, as I would the Starburst. Like, I like that I don't chew as much. But overall, i rather chew more and not have stick to my teeth. The, and more juice than eat a Starburst and have it stick to my teeth. And, um, it's just sometimes it's just potent. Some, like, especially the yellow one. Sometimes I'm just like, ooh, this is a Starburst. But, but yeah, I, I like the packaging. It's very, very cute. Yeah, it has little tinier pieces and it's elongated. Elongated? Is that the word? Yes, elongated. But overall, it's a really good treat. Um, I can see myself getting dated to this because it's actually really juicy and good. Um, it's actually the same price. Um, without taxes, I think it was $1.29. So it's about the size of a candy bar. So basically, you're paying that for candy um, or Starburst. So, I mean, so yeah, it's about the same price as a Starburst um, or candy bar. But overall, it's really good. I've only seen strawberry, but they said there's more than three or four flavors. But I'm sure there's more, especially the ones in Japan. I'm sure there's plenty, plenty more. Just like they do with Kit Kat. I'm sure there's weird, random flavors for Aichu. And if not, they're probably developing. Because now they're becoming a bigger hit. Now that my city is having them in their grocery stores. So, or gas stations or convenience stores. Wherever you want to call them. But overall, it's it's pretty good. I mean, best way to describe it in, in just all one summary is juicy. It's like shaped but not as thick as a hub bubble gum, and it's like, I mean, if you open the package, it looks like it. Um, you can taste the strawberryness of it. You can actually taste, like, the juicy part of it, like the juice, and but it's not over too power, power, power. Um, so, I mean, overall, it's pretty good. I mean, it, the texture is a little chewy, so if you really don't like chewy candy, like, you really have to chew it, I would not recommend it. But overall, it's pretty good, so, so if you like something that's chewy, not as sweet but juicy then I would suggest getting a high chew maybe not strawberry because not everyone likes a strawberry scent but just basic high chew um but yeah that's it for my food review and I hope you guys enjoy it and if you want to I will put in the description box uh my info on follow me on other social where you can follow me on other social medias but anyway thank you for staying tuned have a blessed day see ya Mwah.